What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with another Tactical Tuesday and today we're going to be going over some room clearing techniques. This video is shot a little bit differently. I'll be showing the technique from the top down view using Door Kickers 2 and then I'll transition to the first person perspective with the assistance of Skyclad God and Quadrant 14 and we will show the technique that we had just gone over from the first person view. With that being said guys, I appreciate you watching the videos and subscribing to the channel. If you can, leave me a like and a comment down below. If you don't like this footage or want to see it shot a different way, you can also leave a dislike, but at least leave me a comment down below and tell me why. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So the first thing I want to go over is the Fatal Funnel. The doorway is known as the Fatal Funnel as it is probably one of the most dangerous areas we need to clear when making entry into a room. So with any type of entry, we want to clear that fatal funnel as quickly as possible so we don't bottleneck the door um, and basically get ourselves or our teammates shot because we're not clearing that as quickly as possible. So for this technique, we're going to do the opposite side button hooks. You'll see I am positioning two of my operators on each side of the door. We're doing this with a four man team. When we transition to the first person perspective, it'll be a three man team, but the concept is the same regardless. So my first man, the point man, is going to enter the door, clear the threshold, and clear the midpoint of the room to the deep right corner. And he's going to fill and flow. And what I mean by fill and flow is we're going to essentially clear that threshold, fill into the room, and then flow deeper into it. That way we give our teammates who are behind us room to also enter and clear. My second guy is going to enter right behind my point man and clear that deep left corner, fill into the room and flow as well. Third man goes opposite of the second man, also fills right. And the fourth man goes opposite the third man and fills in left. So when I push play on door kicker two, you'll see my guys fill and flow into the room. And I just wanna go over, the point man is never wrong. So even on an entry, if I say I'm going right and I end up going left, I'm not wrong. It, you have to fill Alpha. and flow go. off of the person in front go. of you. Charlie, go. So point man goes right, Delta. second man go. goes left, third goes right, and fourth guy. And so for the purpose of this video, corner. when we're making entry, we're going to pretend it's just in a square so room door, with no with branching it. hallways or doorways. Alright, ready? Yep. For the next clearing technique, we're going to do opposite side cross. So you'll see my point man is going to enter the doorway and cross over to the left side, clear that deep corner, fill and flow into the room. Meanwhile, the second guy is going to go right behind him off his hip, basically, and clear that deep right corner, filling into the room and flowing. And then third man again goes across, fourth man then crosses the opposite way. So when I hit the play button, you'll see point man's gonna cross to the left, second man's gonna go across to the right, clearing those deep corners, filling and flowing into the room. Alpha, go. Bravo, go. Charlie, go. Delta, go. All right, so you're gonna open it and I'm crossing first. Okay, on you. All right, so for the next technique, we're going to do a same side button hook. And when I say same side, what I mean is I'm stacking all of the operators on the same side of the doorway. So as you can see here on screen, all four of my operators are on the left side of the doorway. And when I say button hook, I'm talking about the point man. He's going to button hook left into the doorway, clearing that deep left corner and filling and flowing. So as you can see on screen, the path, he's button hooking right into that threshold, clearing it as quickly as possible, and then filling into the room. Now my second guy needs to be on the point man's hip. And the purpose of that is because when that point man does that left button hook, his back is going to be exposed to that deep right corner. So my second man needs to clear that threshold, clear that deep right corner for my point man, 
and then fill and flow on the opposite side of the room. Again, third man reads off a second man. So third man should be button hooking into the room, which you'll see on screen. And then the fourth man reads off the third man. Since my third man button hooked, my fourth man is going to, again, cross into that right deep right corner and then fill and flow. So I do have a little trouble with their paths. That's why I kind of have to retrace them again and everything. And I'm giving them different um, go signals, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. But once I hit the play button, you'll see it unfold. Uh, first guy's gonna button hook in, second guy's gonna cross into that deep right corner, third guy button hooks in, and then fourth fourth guy uh, again cross crossing into that deep right corner. Alpha, go, Bravo, go, Charlie, go, Delta, go. On you for And the next entry we're going over is the same side cross. So again, same side meaning all my operators are on the same side. So we're on the left side of the doorway. My point man is going to cross into that deep right corner, clear that and fill and flow onto into the right side of the room. So now my second guy needs to be on the point man's hip and button hook left right as the point man clears the threshold in order to cover his six uh, because his back is going to be exposed. So then third guy reads off of the second man, goes right into the deep corner again, fills and flows. And then fourth man is again going to button hook left, fill and flow into the room. So you'll see when I push the play button, again, point man's going to cross into that deep right corner, Alpha, fill go, and flow, Alpha, clearing go, along the way. Charlie, go. Delta, and the go. rest of the members follow behind. All right, on you. All right, so the last technique I wanna go over isn't necessarily an entry technique, it's more of clearing the room as much as possible from the outside. So where we would use, where we would use this is in, let's say a barricaded suspect with no hostage, no real need to immediately enter the room once we pop the door. We want to get a layout and see as much of the room as we can from the outside. It's safer. We don't have to cross that fatal funnel. Um, and we can kind of get most of the room cleared from the outside. So as, you can see on screen right now, I'm gonna have uh, my point man place a breach charge. He'll move over to the right side of the doorway. He'll blow that breach charge. And then my second man's going to slice the pie across the outside of the door, looking into the room and getting as Bravo. much of a view of that room as possible. Now, as you can see on screen, he's not able to clear those deep left and right corners, but he did clear a large portion of the room as he moved across. Right. Reach it. 